Hi guys, this is TabBearNews.com and I'm here with a tablet called Evolio EvoTab Fun. It's a tablet from Romania, it's a 7 inch model and it's very very cheap. It runs Android 4.0 and it costs $176, so less than $200. We have previewed this model a while ago and now the final version has arrived and it has 1GB of RAM and more interesting stuff about it. Its warranty is 5 years, which is impressive considering this is merely a tablet, also a cheap one. What's bundled with the device is a huge amount of accessories. We have a cradle, especially for your car dashboard or windscreen. We have a car charger, the charger of the tablet and a USB cable. So lots of accessories for integrating this into the car experience and using the tablet as a GPS. Okay, so now as far as the design goes, the back is a soft touch material. It's very nice to handle and hold in your hands, even for a long while, even with sweaty palms. Very nice material and overall the feel of the tablet is solid, feels like a resilient device. Also we have this uh, physical button right here. A bunch of smaller buttons that are harder to press on this side. This is the on-off button, this is the escape button and two volume buttons right here. Here you can see that we have one hole here and two more holes here one here and one here. Those are used to attach the cradle to the tablet and place it on the windscreen. Here we have a 2 megapixel camera and on this side we have all the ports that are important. Well, we have the audio jack, micro SD, card slot, mini USB, HDMI and charging port. So that's about it when it comes to the design. Pretty interesting form factor with these corners that are all rounded and sharp at the same time. But overall the feeling is good. This tablet is 9.5 mm thick it weighs 330 grams and as far as hardware goes we have a box chip A10 1 gigahertz processor inside with a Mali 400 megahertz GPU 1 gigabyte of RAM memory 8 gigabyte of flash internal memory micro SD card slot available with up to 32 gigabytes in extra storage and Android 4.0 runs the show here as you can see this display is a 7 inch unit with a resolution of 800 over 480 pixels and we can see here Android 4.0.3. The camera as I said is a 2 megapixel one. We also have a GPS receiver inside, it's a high vision HV5820, that's the GPS receiver. Also this tablet comes with an FM transmitter. This one sends the audio stream from your tablet straight to your car or you if you have a stereo in your room you can send it that way as well. We also have Wi-Fi, this tablet is 3G ready, so if you connect an adapter to the mini USB port and to a 3G drive, 3G stick, you'll be able to connect to the internet via 3G. Inside there's a lithium ion battery, it's a battery that's uh, 3000 mAh in capacity, it should provide you with about 5-6 hours of usage and it will charge in about let's say 2-3 hours. So it's a pretty decent battery. This tablet supports full HD playback. You'll see that a bit later we'll play back a trailer for you. So we've got more stuff installed on this tablet. It also supports MKV, AV files, MP4. Um, and as far as texts go and documents, it supports PDF, EPUB, TXT files. And I have also to, I must also show you a defect. There's some minor light bleeding on this side, so the backlight can be seen on this side a little bit. Also the viewing angles are not that good. As you can see it's easy to figure out that the viewing angles are not good. You just have to tilt the tablet a bit and you realize that immediately. Now let's see what the performance of the device is all about. So going to Antutu in this, in this benchmark we scored you'll see immediately we scored 3207 points. We compare that to other Romanian tablets. For example, the Allview Allroad 2 Speed HD scored 2775, while the Allview Allroad 3 Speed scored 2900. So this model is superior to its fellow tablets from the same country. Okay, so now we're going to go to the benchmark or Nanomark 2. In this one, we scored 32.8 frames per second while the previous version of the tablet called Evo Tab 2 scored 22.7 frames per second, so it's an evolution. The Allview tablets also scored 22 frames per second, so we actually have a pretty decent GPU 
on this device. There are other benchmarks, but uh, this tablet doesn't support screenshots, so that's why I use the handset from the local brand in Romania, Allview, to take shots of the tablet's performance. And you see here we have the Velamo benchmark where we scored 850 points. As you can see, this is the exact same tablet. Well, 850 points, that's below the Evo Tab 2 that scored 930. And also past the Allview Older 3 Speed that scored only 600. There's also Quadrant. We didn't forget about Quadrant. In Quadrant, we scored a pretty modest 1508 points. Well, that's below the Evo Tab 2 that scored 1800 and also below the Allview tablet that scored 2200. So, not so good in Quadrant, but pretty decent in the rest of the tests. As far as normal performance go, you can see that the tablet is not greatly lagging, so normal activities are allowed, but I'm not using a lot of GPS. I'm also not using the multitasking to its full capacity. I'm not opening more apps at the same time because I don't want the tablet to lag and I constantly keep the advanced task killer open so I can kill the apps and free the memory. If I didn't do that, the tablet will probably lag immediately and I will eventually shut it down and not care about its problems. Okay, so as I said, we have Android 4.0, which means we have the setting area right here, also means that we have the multitasking you just saw, also means that we have the widgets and apps in the same area, we have access to the Google Play Store, obviously. So this is the Play Store. Taking a while to load. Some of these cheap tablets on the market, those made in China, don't have the Play Store. So that's why I'm showing it to you, to see that it actually works on this device. This Romanian tablet, it's Romanian branded, remember that. It's, of course, a uh, no-name tablet made in China. Uh, it reached Romania and it was rebranded. What puzzles me is that we have these virtual volume buttons. I don't understand why we have them since we also have physical volume buttons right here at the top. Anyway, it's, it never hurts to have an extra set of buttons. Okay, obviously we have all the apps that are specific to the Android ecosystem. So as you can see we have Google Plus in here, we have Google Maps, we have Gmail, we have the calendar right here. So this is the calendar, this is the Google Maps, we've also installed a GPS app called Mireo. The company Evolio recommended this to us for the Evolio EvoTap Fun tablet. It's actually a pretty decent GPS app. It gives you 7 days of free trial, 3D navigation, English voice feedback, turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and has options like speed limit, uh, radar, points of interest and other stuff like that. So it's actually a pretty decent app. And if you use the cradle with this tablet and attach it to your dashboard and then start the GPS, you'll feel like you have a full-fledged GPS. Okay, now it's time to show you the input method, meaning the virtual keyboard and the web browser on this tablet. So here we are with the web browser. This is the virtual keyboard, quite comfy to use. So let's access Tablet News. Tabletnews.com, here we are. Taking a while to load. And this is Tabletnews.com, the browser loads reasonably fast, it doesn't uh, break any speed records. Let's do a little bit of scrolling. And now let's do some pinch to zoom. As you can see, a pretty decent browsing experience, but once again, I have to complain about the viewing angles. Not so good on this device. Okay, now that we saw the browser, the virtual keyboard and all that, you have to check out the audio experience on the device. So for that, I'm going to enter the music playing application. You see the album covers that we have here. We have quite a lot of music on the micro SD card. Now let's search for a particular song. I'm actually pleased with the speakers on the tablet. This is the speaker. We also have some sound effects. Mm. 
you can deactivate them if you want you have to slide the virtual buttons the speaker of this tablet has a very good bass, very good volume but the whole tablet vibrates when the volume reaches its max and in case you're wondering this is the soundtrack of a game called Silent Hill 3 and the artist is Akira Yamaoka ok now it's time for the video playback for that I'm going to enter the gallery there's no point to show you photo or video capture since you only have a front camera good enough for Skype or Yahoo Messenger but not good enough to take normal capture so this is the trailer for the latest Resident Evil movie it's a full HD trailer the tablet supports MKV files, FLAC files, MP4 files, AV files, all sorts of other files. This is still a Resident Evil movie, don't be fooled by the trailer. So you can see that video playback is handled in a great way on this tablet. The colors are good, the lighting is decent, but the viewing angles, well, not so much. That's my only complaint. Of course, and the light bleeding from the side. Okay, so we're done with the multimedia section. Um, you must also remember if you ever buy a tablet like this, if you use the FM transmitter, remember to set it off once you leave the application. If you leave it on, you will, won't be able to use the normal music player and you won't know what's happening. You'll believe that the tablet is not working anymore when it comes to audio of playback. The company Evolio also included some apps on this device like Evo Book, straight from Evolio. This one is your very own bookstore and your very own e-reader. So here we are with some works from Alessandre Dumont and this is how you perform the e-reading simply by swiping to reach another page we also have some settings like page animation, slide effect, page effect, night mode the text size, margins and all of that leaving the book you can also go to the store where you can find dictionaries, love stories, encyclopedia, fiction, philosophy, history, literature. You can find a ton of works all through the Evo Book application provided by Evolio. So, a pretty cool selection of books. I'm pretty happy with this app. You also get Kingsoft Office bundled with a tablet for your office needs if you want to edit spreadsheets, PowerPoint, Word, documents. You'll use Kingsoft Office on this tablet. Here we are, this is how the editing is done, at least for the document, as you can see, supported formats, doc, xls, powerpoint, txt, and other stuff like that. Okay, time for the verdict guys, cheap tablet, $176, pros and cons, on the pro side we have a lot of accessories, this, is, this one is a very cool GPS, it's a tablet that is easy to use as a GPS. Also the design is pretty good, we have a soft touch back, that's very pleasant to the touch. The tablet is very portable, it has the latest uh, Android available on the majority of tablets, that's Android 4.0. Not many tablets have Jelly Bean nowadays. It has pretty decent audio, unless you count that vibration, it has an FM transmitter. It supports a lot of audio and video formats, it supports MKV, FLAC files and does full HD playback. It also has an HDMI port, which I consider to be very important. It supports 3G dongles, also something that I consider to be reasonably important. And its video is decent unless you count viewing angles. Now on the con side, it lags sometimes, especially when you have multiple apps open. And uh, the viewing angles, once again, the battery is pretty disappointing at 5-6 hours 
Also, the screen problems with the backlight bleeding over here, the vibration at the back when you listen music to the max, and the fact that you actually need to use the car charger in order to use the FM transmitter. So you use the car charger as an antenna for the FM transmitter. So we give this tablet an 8 out of 10 for design, an 8 out of 10 for operating system and 8 out of 10 for hardware. The total grade is 8 out of 10 for the Evolio Evo Tab Fun tablet from Romania from Evolio. Hope you like the review at tabletusing.com and we'll be back with more in the following days. Bye bye.